In past lessons, we've advertised that version control was one way to protect yourself against disasters. And in this lesson, we'll look at several ways that we can do that. I'm Steve Vaskoff. I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office at the Jean and Alexander Hurd Libraries at Vanderbilt University. If you've gotten to this video by some means other than our lessons page, you might be interested to know that this is a part of a series of lessons and you can learn more about that by visiting vanderbilt.lt slash codegraph. I'm going to talk about how you can recover from various levels of disasters, starting from the not very bad ones to the terrible ones. So we'll start off by um, looking at what I'm calling a level one disaster, a bad file saved over a good one. So we probably all had this experience where you um, make some edits to a file and then you save the file and you realize that actually you shouldn't have made those edits or you were editing the wrong file or any of a number of problems that involve you basically writing over a, a good file with a bad file. To recover from this kind of a disaster, we're gonna take advantage of the information that Git stores on our local drive. In an earlier lesson, we saw that there was this hidden folder called .git, and we said, you don't wanna mess with the contents of that folder. The reason is that that's the folder where Git manages and keeps track of everything that's ever been changed. Um, the way that Git does version control is by simply keeping track of which parts of text files have changed. When you create a new version, you don't actually create a new version of every document. You simply have Git keep track of what has changed since the previous ones. So we'll make use of the fact that this is tracked in order to recover an earlier version of the file that has been saved in a commit. A typical thing that I do when I want to create a new web page is to simply take an old web page and modify it with the changes that I want for the new web page. So I'm going to open up the lesson web page from last week and uh, go ahead and make some edits to it. Change it to lesson 19. And also um, delete a lot of stuff out of it. Okay, so I'm not going to make too many more changes, but this is a good start. So I will go ahead and save that. Oh no, oh no, I forgot I was supposed to save that and call it lesson 19, not lesson 18. What am I going to do about that? Well, let's go ahead and close that down. If I click on GitHub Desktop, I can see that it has noticed the changes that I've made to the Lesson 18 document. However, I have not made any commit so far. So it turns out that it's actually very easy to have the desktop client just revert you back to the last committed version. And all you have to do is simply right click on the document and say discard changes. I will go ahead and confirm that. Now all my changes have gone away. If I go back and reopen the document again, we can see that everything is restored right back to the way it was before. Whew, 